of confirmed coronavirus cases continue to rise. Stats show prisons are in no way exempt and inmates at one prison in Daytona Beach account for more than 40 percent of all confirmed cases in prisons across the state. But for some, that's not exactly what's most alarming. Tomoka has the most uh, COVID cases of any prison in the state of Florida. And he has actually uh, been exposed. He's on medical uh, quarantine. Marion Comella's son, Jeffrey Nails Jr., was convicted of armed trespassing in 2017 and sentenced to three years in prison. She says he was transferred to Tomoka Correctional Institution in Daytona Beach a couple of months ago and is now scheduled to be released Sunday. But she's concerned. He's not been tested. And my question is, when they release him, are they going to test him before they release him? Numbers released by the Florida Department of Corrections, or FDC, indicate that 40 percent of all positive COVID-19 cases in state-run prisons are at Tomoka. And that Marianne's son is part of the more than 90 percent of inmates at Tomoka who have currently been medically quarantined because they may have had close contact with the person who tested positive or was symptomatic. In Marianne's son's case, she says two of his bunkmates tested positive. On Thursday, the FDC announced they have just expanded testing to asymptomatic inmates. So now, in addition to the 84 positive cases reported there, there are 90 tests pending. But Marianne says her son was not one of them. Her feelings. Angry, I guess, in a way, because he's going to come home and possibly bring it home with them. And then I'm gonna be exposed. My husband's gonna be exposed. I don't know if they have a plan. So we asked point blank if the FDC had a specific release policy with regards to COVID-19 testing. And on multiple occasions, a spokesperson responded simply stating that they are in the process of formulating a response to our question. Meanwhile, within the last 48 hours, the FDC has started offering voluntary testing to all staff at Tomoka. Welcome news to concerned correctional officers there, especially after a dozen staff tested positive. If I was a betting and wagering man, I would say that, that the numbers are a lot higher than what we all know. James Biardi is the president of the state's correctional officer chapter of the Florida Police Benevolent Association. They represent roughly 12,000 COs throughout the state and say testing is key for their safety. We have to get a true gauge of really where we are. I think we're having a full-blown crisis in our prisons. State Senator Randolph Bracey is the vice chair of the state legislature's Appropriations Subcommittee on Criminal Justice. He says he was alarmed by constituents' complaints and even more so once he saw the FDC's stats. Well, it just implies that they aren't testing nearly enough. So he was pleased to hear expanded testing has now begun. But additionally... He wants the governor to implement an early release policy for nonviolent inmates, inmates who are almost at their release date, older inmates, and or those with underlying health issues. I mean, you've seen recently uh, Kareem Brown was let out of the federal prison because of concerns that her health would be compromised. And so if they can do it in the federal prison, I don't see why we can't do it in the state. Now, right before we went on, FDC emailed out updated numbers, and the number of positive cases at Tomoka have now gone up from 84 to 128. So they now account for about 44 percent of all cases statewide instead of just 40 percent. As far as a response about a release policy, I did reach out again just a couple of hours ago to the FDC and have not yet heard back. Jim? We know you'll stay on top of it. Summer, thanks.